we chillin' tonight. Hey. Club. Fly, flashy, grown classy, so turn it up. Hey. Saturday mornings, no walk of shame, we fresh up. 950 lounge, that's my guilty pleasure. I don't miss my favorite show, I put everything on hold. Work the baby, even the baby said a no. When 950 come on, don't bother. I'm locked in, 10 to 1, no problem. Brother here is no stranger. This microphone here at Nafi Lounge. We, he, he's brought a business in, in, in part with partnerships with us and with um, 950 and, C, and BCW moving to CBTV in 2018 with a lot of things beyond just programming and, and talk. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome Mike Mizzle and his team. Mike, what's the team? Give me the you guys on the team. What's going on, baby? This is Bobby Garcia from the Garcia family right here. Mm -hmm. And this is Lifeline. You know, from Breed Combination Entertainment. Both of them are from Breed Combination Entertainment now. So, you know, we just growing. And we doing... just heard your, 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 that was your cut that we just heard. Yeah, yeah, most mm -hmm. definitely. Real smooth, uh, real smooth. You appreciate know? it. Had, you had Sapphire and, and, and Nikki. They were like, where did they throw the panties at? They was like, oh. <laughs> 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 That's what's up. Oh, my uh, gosh. But, uh, Mike, man, again, I, I I mean, we speak all the time. So, it's just this, having this conversation, just like having the, the, the phone in my ear. But... You know, you you've you've grown. And I, I'm so proud of your movements, man. With with uh, wrestling and media and, and and just the next step. Talk about the you know tw what what 2017 oh, meant to you and what's coming in 2018. 2017 was fantastic, man. We was hotter than the California wildfire in 2017. That's hot. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, we came out, we came on the scene, and everybody was just like, yo. Who are these guys, right? right and right. the beginning of the year, everybody was like, who are these guys? What are they doing now? Everybody's like, where are these guys? Can we be a part of that? Can we right. roll with you? Can right. we rock with you? And you know, and if the if the energy is right, and the movement is right, and it's, if it makes sense, it's going to make dollars. So. And, it, and it's crazy because, you know, it, it, like anything else, especially when the things we, we go from ground roots, it's not always that case. It's not always people right. want to rock with you. They don't mm -hmm. always want to be with you. And then the, and then when it does come in, like, wow, you know, they're getting these phone calls and text messages, like, right. like where were you at, you know, when I was starting this thing? Exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you know, like, you've been rocking me since day one. When yeah. we released the first article, right? You, yeah. The Koi Fest, you know, yeah. that came out a couple of years ago. That was big. Then we released the Owl. That was one of our hottest sellers. Then we went from the clothing to the fashion to the music. You, mm -hmm. you supported us when we released the book, Follow well, Me I, Free. I've always, so. again, you know, I come from a mindset it's like, you know, iron sharpens iron, and we've always been cool because, you know, we've always been straight with each other. Definitely. I mean, even the commercial we played, and the breed the Bree combination brand, the media piece that mm -hmm. you represent both both brands, wrestling and media today. Um, and again, I think we just vibed on that because we just, in a world of, of people who are phony and fake and trying to get over mm -hmm. we were just straight up that's it and i think that's why that's that's that relationship was kept in, in the snap it's been a beautiful Without thing question. man oh, love thank you, boy. you. Yeah. talk to your artist here we just again heard the song um talk about working with a guy like mike who's got a lot of irons in the fire but yet you know helps you cultivate your your brand and your music i mean I've been working with Mike since the beginning, since Bree Combination. Like, we did Baltimore Fashion Week together. Oh, we killed it. We, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is not just a fly-by-night thing. Like, right. Mike has always been in my corner. Like, even mm -hmm. when, you know, I've been out of the scene for a little minute because, you know, unfortunately, you know, I, I had a little street dealings, and Mike was there for me, you know what I'm saying, right. giving me support even while I was behind the wall. So, you know, for me to just come out, and he's just right there. Like, yeah, we back at it. It's all nothing right. changed. It's just we getting better. Down. You know what I mean? That's like you just said, like that's the kind of support you really need. Somebody that's gonna be straight up with you. Right. And nice. you know what I'm saying? Like, and even like the same thing, like Mike called me, yo, yo, I need this, I'm there. Like, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like it's about it's bigger than it's bigger than just this. It's a, it's, it's bigger than just it's a movement. You get what right. I'm saying? Like we mm -hmm. here for real. So, 
You know what I mean? To have somebody like that in your corner is, 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 is a very good thing because a lot of people don't see that. Like you said, like a lot of people's phony. Like, I don't have to worry about it. Like, this is what we do. You know and I mean, this is just regular. This is behind the scenes, on the scene. Like, this is my guy. So, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, so when, when, when you had that moment, how important was having somebody like, when I'm sure probably people who, oh, you know, want to distance themselves, but having that person still ride with you. Talk about that, that stability and helping you get through that tough time. Um. Yeah, man, like, no question, like, you, because you, you, it's like you start over, you reborn yourself again, so, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, you want to have people in your corner that's really supportive, you know, and having a person like that, because a lot of people don't, like, who can you really depend on when you actually need something when it's, when it's really needed, like, everybody's there when you up, Yeah. who's really mm -hmm. there when you down, you get what yeah, I'm saying, and right, to turn right. around and see somebody there when you down, that is very, it, it makes your bond stronger, Right. you know, mm -hmm. it does, you know what I mean, and I, like I said, that's why, like I said, Mike, Anything, man. I remember when I was handing out flyers, it's nothing. Mike, you know me had some flyers out for this? Like, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? No yeah, questions man. asked. Like, you know what I mean? Because I believe in what he believes in, and he believes in what I'm doing, so mm -hmm. that that counts. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, he's not just here because, you know, I'm just here. He's here because he believes in what I'm doing. Just like I believe in what he's doing. You get what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Yeah. Now, my man here, now you're part of the, the wrestling part. Are you still? No, I'm, a, I'm an artist too. Oh, I'm a, look, it's artist day, man. It's you artist day today, Cap. You do all stuff for me. Well, you know I got to intermingle the brands, baby. You know the left hand and the right hand, they got to work together. And you know you got to make that sweet potato pie. <laughs> for real. All right, Bizzle, I got you, I got you. <laughs> but let's talk about, you know, your artist dealings with Mike and, and, and talk about your growth as an artist. Man, I was in the office mm -hmm. with Yon Walden, my lawyer. You know, I've been on the road with Mr. Cheeks for about 15 years. Okay. I stayed with Dave Marley, Steve, right. Ziggy, and everybody in Miami for about eight months. It must have been you know, experience. I, yes, sir. <laughs> you know what I mean? So being with them guys and being with Cheeks all these years, you know, I got into a situation. So soon I got into my situation, I thought of Mike. Right. Because I set up here at Matrix one day, and me and Mike was kicking it. Mm -hmm. And when you build in a circle, you want your circle to be strong. And you think about the people that move forward the right way. Yeah. So when I was at the crib or something, just say, yo, Bob, call Mike and tell yeah. Mike your situation and what you're doing. And two hands together can make something happen. Wow, that's, that's an incredible wow. story. Big shout man. out to Cheeks. Yeah, shout Big out Cheeks. Cheeks. Mike, obviously, again, man, I know you got a family, wrestling, music. 2018, I mean, obviously, you, you're juggling and you do a great job with that. But um, with these guys in particular, what's the focus as from the business perspective? So, I'm gonna sum it up in one word for you, Kevin. International. Right now, Bree Combination is a United States based company. We got situations that we're working on in Canada, Germany, United Kingdom, and India. So, if I can get the company out there, go from, you know, something local to something international, that, that's my goal for 2018. Right. You know, I want Bree Combination Entertainment, Bree Combination Wrestling, all my artists to be household names. You know? Me internationally known. That's right. Because <laughs> I'm known to rock a microphone. Um, I get mm -hmm. um, Suge Knight. I mean, young Knight. <laughs> <laughs> wow. All he was talking, he was standing like, mm -hmm. yeah, man, you best keep to the script, man. Yeah, keep to the script. Now that, you know, you're into the entertainment world, where you see, like Kev always say, like a five year plan, but where you see in 2018? exactly where you want to take this because you're already halfway there but where you want to take it now that you right on the cross well 2018 you know what and let me throw it back to something you guys said in the earlier segment you guys said would you be happy with a guy if you were with him and he had a paper route well i was that guy with the paper route but i decided i didn't want the paper route i wanted the whole company so that's where I'm at right you now. You hear that, girl? No. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he's saying he's a so, He's and he ain't. Right. You, you got to set your sights high. You know, it's like if, if you only want $100, you probably going to make 75 But if you want 100000 then you're going to do everything you got to do to get to that 100000 And when you taste it, you're going to be like, mm, mm -hmm. yeah, that's just not enough. Now I need 200000 Then you figure it out. So that's where I'm at. You know, like when we first started Bree Combination Entertainment, we did a couple of shows. Our first show had about 20, 30 people at the show. Today we're doing shows with 300, 400 people. You know, you guys were at my last wrestling event. We had that thing sold out, right? And then there were a couple of companies that ran on the same day that I ran, and they weren't happy that they've been in business for twice as long as I've been, and they're wondering how you get all those people at your show, and I can't get that amount of people at my show. 
You know, so branding, it's all about the ground. Branding, branding, branding. You know? I always say well, I think I have something to do with that. Oh, most definitely. <laughs> <laughs> it's about who you know, though. It's no. just a lot about right. who it's you about know how you move. It's, but branding, branding, mm-hmm. branding, and promotion is the key to any successful business. You can know a lot of people, but if those people don't know how to come out, then mm-hmm. it doesn't make sense. Right. It's all knowing how to, how to use your influentials. And how to brand your strategic branding, right? Because right. there's people who class all over the web and ain't going right. Anywhere. I, mm-hmm. You have to know how to brand yourself, and you've been doing just that, and just to be able to see, you know, BCW, you know, when the guys came, and like I said, we just spoke <laughs> about your vision. I'm like, Mike, you getting close to that? You, you know, you you, you talked about BB Kings. Mm-hmm. He was like Sapphire. I see us at BB Kings. I want to hit yes. BB Kings, and you're gonna be close to that. And you're gonna be passing in. And hitting that mark, and now, yes. right now, around the same time, you're talking about I want to be international. I'm gonna, so now, your 2018 goal, you're gonna come back and say, "Listen, I'm hit Germany. I'm hit here." Right. Exactly. And that's and, and that's what it's about. And just surrounding yourself with the same like-minded people and individuals. Indeed. That's also the key. Yes. To be around great people like Kev and, and like Just and like Rhoda, people that's about something to elevate. You want to keep those people around because mm-hmm. everybody, each one, teach one. Exactly. You don't want to be yep. around somebody that's not going to be able to assist you to bring you to the next level. Yeah. Just like how you call Mike. But I wanted to know, as you guys are artists, you know what 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 do you have your mind set on for 2018? Your your immediate specific goals that you see yourself doing. 2018 is I'm taking it over. You ain't got to be gangster to make good music. Amen. Mm-hmm. Thank God. I go I go by the you ain't I go by Bobby Garcia, the Garcia family man. I raise my kids. I show my friends how to raise their kids. Like you gotta be there. You mm-hmm. gotta be a father. When you have these kids, you gotta be out. You gotta be there. You gotta be hands on. Mm-hmm. Even when you ain't a father and you're in a neighborhood, you gotta be a father because it takes right. a village to raise a child. Mm-hmm. You gotta tell the kids to get together so they don't bump their heads to stop the killing. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So it takes somebody in the neighborhood to step up to be that point guy. And I always was that point guy in my neighborhood. Mm-hmm. South Jamaica Queens, 40 Projects, one of the <laughs> most dangerous hoods in Queens. Mm-hmm. And um. When it comes to togetherness, that's what I'm about. Mm-hmm. And your last name represents you. And yes. with your kids wearing that last name, it represents your family. Yeah, that's what legacy. it is. It's yeah. the Garcia family, man. Yes, that's sir. the logo, Facts. you know? Uh-huh. I hear you. Gotcha. <laughs> Mike, I, I always say this about you from like the first time I met you. You always come with substance. Yeah, it's man. never, it's never, and, and that's the thing that you shows the people that you're with, how they always come around. And I mean, we've been to several events. Yeah. I've had a lot of fun hanging out with BCW <laughs> fellas, but at the end of the day, they represent you. Hey, and I like how y'all spoke. I said, this man has done this for me. He has done that for me, but you don't get, you do a lot for him too. Facts. So don't always remember that it's about what Mike does for me, but you bring a lot to him and you give him an air. You give him a, ver- a word that you might not know, but this man hears a lot of different things. You got a lot of people saying a lot of things mm-hmm. about you, yep. especially when you guys get popular and you get to be international superstars. Y'all gonna all have to really be tight knit because mm-hmm. at the end of the day, you have a lot of people trying to break family apart and trying to take y'all apart. Yeah, and y'all gotta remember that. Keep that in the back of your minds. Facts. Mm-hmm. Preach. Well, you have, you want to add? Um, or bad joke maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Only thing is that um, I think as we watch Mike grow, you watched us grow, and you always, regardless of whatever situation, nine fifty lounge was in, you always kept the support, and we did the same for you. So I appreciate it, man. A limit for both of us, bro. So it's good to be going in the same direction. I appreciate that. Um, Thank you, man. All right, Thank you. So, I, did I say it right? You said it right. You said it right. <laughs> let me let me go back to the artists. And uh, from a standpoint, working with a guy that's that's in the wrestling game, has that changed how maybe you guys do some of your music? I know you guys do your own music and creative. I mean, like maybe being around the wrestling thing, like you know, um, I mean, add a little add a little sauce. They can <laughs> rock this at on um, one of um, BCW wrestling events. Has that mm-hmm. been a uh, a change for you? I mean, what you got to remember, like dealing with a person like Mike, he's He's, he's always elevating. He's always looking for the future thing, the next it. So, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? I don't, I don't put past nothing. I don't know. Like, you know what I mean? Me as an artist, I'm, I'm here. You get what I'm saying? I'm humble with mine. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? I'm, I've been blessed to, to be given a second chance, you know what I'm right. saying, to indoctrinate myself with a different way of thinking. So yeah. that's where I'm at right now. You know what I mean? I, I remove myself from that, 
that negativity at the same time I, I wouldn't change anything I went through because right. it made me who I am mm -hmm. the street smarts and now right. with the book smarts and now learning about business and more things you know what I mean like that's very important you must too. enjoy Nikki's thought on street smarts yeah I did I, I really did I really did though <laughs> you know? mm -hmm. no because she, you know it was it was wonderful it right. was really real talk so you know and like I said Mike is Mike is a is, is a, a great He's a great person to be around and to get that information. You know what I'm saying? Because he doesn't he doesn't hold it from you. Mm -hmm. He puts mm -hmm. you on like, yo, this is what we doing. This is how we gonna move. And this is so you as an artist, you look at that and you're like, wow, oh man, he's giving me the game. Opposed to because most of these major labels hold it. Right. You know mm -hmm. they wanna they wanna suck you dry and then try to. You know what I'm saying? Mike's not like that. He's trying to like, yo, I'm giving you the game so you could elevate too. Because you are gonna have to build pieces too. Right. You Basically, feel what I'm saying? He didn't judge you. He, you know what I'm saying? You just came to him. He knew what it was all about. He just, uh, uh, y'all just uplifted each other. Exactly. Yep. Well, exactly. obviously, with BCW doing um, CBTV, big shout out to Nigel Touch. Yep. And um, uh, the 950 Network pay per view option with artists, which mm -hmm. I'm sure we'll be seeing these brothers. Oh, the most definitely. View. Oh, yeah. Um, the, the future's bright. And, and um, obviously, I know we work together on, and again, we, we, a lot of things I ain't going to say on this mic that we talk about. <laughs> but, um, Again, like I said, it, it's, it's definitely bright. You got a big event happening next month, Dangerous Intentions, January 12th, um, 7 p.m. Bell yes. First Bell is at 8 p.m. The world famous Elks Lounge, 82 20 Queens Boulevard, Elmhurst, New York. Tickets are available at eventbrite.com or by calling 347 446 5142. Again, affordable, fun for the whole family. Mm -hmm. um, these BCW events are high packed, high energy. Um, and, and you know, again, if you're not even a wrestling fan, you you still enjoy. Nikki says she's a wrestling fan, so maybe she'll bring some cupcakes for the cousin and then nice. come out and get all you it. have diabetes run through the. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't eat the cupcakes. Oh, um, with death, brother. <laughs> real quick, um, go back to you fellows again. Let people know where they can find more information on your music, entertainment, um, book you for bookings, what have you. Um, Bobby Garcia on Facebook. One name, Bobby Garcia. That's my music page. Mm -hmm. That's everything. BG718. BG718 is my Instagram. That's where you can see, you know, what I do. I just dropped a, uh, I just dropped a, uh, freestyle. It's at 4,500 in two days. Nice. You know nice. what I mean? Mm -hmm. nice. I did it for Prodigy. You know, I've been in a lot of places with Prodigy and Mr. Cheek. So, so my um, lawyer said, yo, do a cover song. So I did yeah. that for Prodigy and that's at 45. Queen's Brethren. Yeah, you yes, know? Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, and just to show the world what I'm about and what I do, because I've been doing it for a long time, but when you're on a positive note, it's kind of harder. Right. You know what yeah. I mean? If I was out there saying, do this or do that, the wrong language, then I think I'd be further because I'm in the streets. How it's frustrating not, is that? <laughs> it's major frustrating because <laughs> when you're doing the proper way, mm -hmm. and you're like me, you ain't got to be gangster to make good music. And then when I'm talking to the gangsters that really ain't gangster because I'm in the streets, <laughs> right. you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like I'm talking to gangsters that's like, Y'all just out there talking and really ain't taking care of your kids. Y'all really ain't out there taking care of your families. Y'all stunting. Y'all working for somebody. Mm -hmm. Like, let's get on the right page, brother. Right. It's harder because yeah. it's real. But right. does it make you feel as a, a better person? Because at least you know that what I'm saying is the honest truth. And you're not sacrificing who you are. So your kids say, all right, this is my dad. And he's not sacrificing him being a dad or being a person. He's telling you exactly how it is. Cause you got a lot of rappers that have just sacrificed themselves I'm getting, just to make a hit track and they're that. not doing anything like it. You're, so you're right you got to remember that when you don't sacrifice yourself, it's going to take a little bit more for people to really see who you really are. Facts. Mm -hmm. And that's the problem. Every like, a, There's so many rappers out here. Facts. <laughs> it's crazy, right? Because my boys, my young boys is 821 from South Jamaica, Queens. They dropped this song, Lobby. Right. And they say, coming out the, coming out the first floor like Bobby. When they said first floor like Bobby, 50 literally came to their house. 50 is a friend of mine. Mm -hmm. 50 said, yo, when I, heard, when I heard him say coming out like the first floor like Bobby, I knew exactly where to come. Mm. You know, but they didn't know the game and didn't understand where I was coming from. He didn't want them with certain people. Exactly. So when they signed that, that they messed up their thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because not knowing the game. You don't know. Mm -hmm. the, you don't you know. know so man? you say certain things because they sound cool, and yeah, you might think you know, but you really don't know mm -hmm. what yeah. you're doing or getting yourself into. Yeah, because mm -hmm. the average person in the game now, these kids are signing with people with bread, a little bit of money. Get them in the studio. Get them in the studio. Do this. They own them. Right. Mm -hmm. Half of these dudes out here that's in the mm -hmm. game ain't got no paper. They right. finding somebody in the streets that got a little bit of paper that right. can spend ten, twenty thousand. That ain't nothing. Little do you know, ten, twenty thousand ain't nothing when it comes to the industry. Just work hard, you get that like. Mm -hmm. well, independent, get that, yeah. no problem. You right. know, 
So yeah. believing in faith. My brother, where can we people reach out to you? Looking sharp with the, 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 the Liberace. <laughs> you know, <that's, laughs> that had to not come from the street. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's not 23rd Street. 23rd yeah. yeah. Street on 6th Avenue. Like and those that. abandoned buildings. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 With the big black bags. That's a fact. That's a fact. <laughs> you, can, um, you can hashtag me, um, Lifeline. You know, on Instagram, hashtag Lifeline. You know, you can see what I get it into. Mm -hmm. you know, um, you know, I, I just feel good because, you know, I'm, I'm in an R&B mood, so I'm in an R&B lane, and my lane is different. Like And like he said, that is true. It's, it's real difficult being a positive artist. You get what I'm saying? It is. And because it's not just that, though, because me, I, I make all type of music. You know, we want to have fun. We want to party. But this, you also got to switch it up. You know, you got to right. give you got to give the truth, too. You can't just feed them drugs and, you know, all the bad things and be like, mm -hmm. yo, this is what it is. This is life. No, it's not. Right. You know, right. it's not life. And you got to tell them about, you know, I got, you know, I got a lot of different things coming, you know, like, I really do like painting good pictures for the people. Before you go, because we chopped it up the last time you was here on The Humble, tell me how you feel the R&B situation is. Where, where do you see R&B music right now? Because mm. R&B is kind of getting lost in the last five to ten years. We really don't have any more of the, as I like to say, the 90s R&B, when, <laughs> when you had good tracks. Now it's more either pop or borderline rap music R&B. Where, where do you see R&B at right now? I definitely agree with you saying. That's why That's why my name's Lifeline, you feel me? Like, I feel like I'm truly giving life to the game of that bridge, like, like giving it that breath of life again, because I'm not following everybody's trend. I'm doing my own thing, you know what I mean? If, if you with my wave, you with my wave, because I'm giving good music, and I, and, I, and I truly believe, like, I believe in that 90s music, I believe in that that good music, like, you get what I mean? Like, right now, I don't know what's going on. You know, <laughs> I, I, I can't, you know, it feel, it's like they create a formula, follow the formula, and that's it, but then there's no identity because you're just doing the next formula, and then it's just like, oh, that song sounds just like what's the name song, and that's what you're gonna be heard at, so. Right. You mm -hmm. get what I mean? I, I like to go to another lane somewhere else where nobody's doing it, or, you know, because if it feels good to me, I'm not making music for everybody, I, I, would, I would appreciate if everybody likes my music because it's for me. And mm -hmm. I want you to relate to what I relate to because I'm gonna be talking about some real stuff. I'm not just gonna be talking about what the label says, this is what's selling, do this and do that. That's the beautiful thing of being with, you know, independent and, and being able to, you know, mess with Mike. Cause Mike's, you know what I'm saying, he gives, I'm doing my own creativity. This He's not telling me, yo, go ahead and make this, do what you do, mm -hmm. you know, go ahead. Well, again, gentlemen, continued success. I know 2018 is going to be bright. Mike, one more time, where people can reach out, BCW, uh, artist Facebook. performances. Facebook, Bree Combination Wrestling. Instagram, Bree, B-R-I-I, underscore combination, underscore wrestling. Twitter, same handle, Bree, underscore combination, underscore wrestling. Again, yeah. gentlemen, thank you for coming.